Hello there and welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take a look at another house for rent, a really nice big house. And it's, it's cool, it's on this dirt road. You can see me walking down it now. It's further back, it's in a great location. And we're gonna take a look at this one and see what you can get for your money on a higher end home. In the past, we've always brought you condos like under 350 or houses under 700 a month. We're gonna bump it up a little bit and look at some higher end properties. And who's showing this, uh, showing us these properties is Alice with Indigo in Chiang Mai. So make sure to contact Alice if you have any questions about real estate. I'll put a link in the description, so check it out. All right, so this house is around 1973 US dollars a month. And check out, check this place out. It's just, you got places to park your car. Very nice, multiple spots there. You've got a two-story house. One of the cool things I'm gonna show you about this house is that it's kind of two in one. You've got another house separate from the main house. And wait till you see all the property and it's on your own little lake so i'm going to show you around this place there's a lot to show you so we're going to start with the outside and there is one amazing benefit to this property very unique um, we're going to see that here in just a second so first things first let's take a walk down here to it oh by the way it does have a swimming pool we'll see that here in a little bit too so really nice uh, outside area but you've got property, it goes all the way back. We'll see that in a second. But I'm just going to turn and show you this lake. So you've got your own little place to sit. It's on this beautiful, quiet lake. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a gorgeous day too, that really helps. And we're gonna take a look at the outside area here. So you've got the swimming pool area and it is a deep swimming pool. You could actually dive in this one. I don't know how deep it is, but I looked at it a minute ago. And by the way, we talked about there being two separate homes. This one, and uh, this is kind of hard to see, I'm too close to it right now, but this whole thing is separated from the rest of the main house. Let's go back here and look at the backyard, which is quite impressive. We'll also spin around here and I'll give you another view of the pool area. As you can see, very pretty. And you do have a shady spot if you don't want to get sun on you. I think the time right now is about 11 o'clock. You've already got shade on one side of the pool. I always think that's a benefit if I don't feel like having sun beating down on me, but I want to be in the pool. And uh, let's spin around and take a look at some of this outside area here. Now this is a big home. There's a lot to look at. So I'm gonna have to keep it at a pretty decent pace in order to get everything in a good time frame here. Now, if we walk through to the backyard, yes, you get your very own water buffalo. So there is a water buffalo here grazing. This is its backyard. And this property goes all the way back um, until the trees way in the distance back there. So huge property. It's cool that they have a water buffalo here. And uh, let me spin around and show you the back of the house a little bit. So here is a back shot of the house and some of the property, that lake and everything we just looked at is over in this section here. So the water buffalo decided to come over here to the, uh, to the little lake. So yeah, who wouldn't want this guy in their backyard having a good old time? Look at him or her, I can't, don't know how to tell the difference. This water buffalo has it made. Only thing it needs is another water buffalo. But anyway, this is out here on the uh, on the little gazebo area. So let's take a look here in the inside. So here is the living room area. Let me go here in the corner right and get most of the living room in here. So it's very bright. I don't have any lights on. All this is just natural light. And I'll give you a better angle on the other side where you can see they got a nice world map here on the wall, which I love having world maps on the wall. But uh, that is the shot from this side. So this is the whole living room. Now, remember I said there's a lot to this house. This is just one part. Air conditioner over here. And then if I spin around 
and show you the other side. You can see this is overlooking the pool area and the furniture in here is really nice. Give you a closer look at the furniture that they have in here. So let's go through here and see what we can find. Before we go upstairs, which the stairs are located right here, let's go and check out these other rooms that are part of the home, but yet you have to go out here um, on the porch area. This is the area outside where, where the pool is. So there's actually a room here, a bathroom here, and a bedroom over here. Let's take a look at this first bedroom. So as you can see, the bedroom has lots of natural light. Again, I have no lights on. It has a ceiling fan, which will always keep your costs down. It does have a uh, AC unit and there is spots for storage. So this has two beds set up in it right now. There's some area to use as a closet there. And let's go take a look at this other room. So this other room we're about to see is, it's been, I won't say soundproof, but they've put some soundproofing in here. They use it as a music room, but it could be easily used as another bedroom. You know, for that one kid you just don't like and you wanna put him further away from everyone else. I'm just kidding. So there is an AC unit up here at the top and a ceiling fan over here. And again, this is very, very insulated. So if you did have a teenager who likes their loud music and they want to jam out, you could put them here and you wouldn't have to hear all that. So going back the other way, we'll take a look at this bathroom that's right here on my left. So it's got a nice bathroom. This would be the bathroom for both of the rooms we have already looked at and it would be the bathroom that you would use for your guests that just want to use the pool. So here's a look at the shower area. So you've got a really nice shower head, very nice shower to begin with. So very nice. Okay, now we're going to go upstairs and see some of the other rooms. Now remember, this is just one, one part of a house. There's still another whole house to go. <laughs> As we go up the steps, you've got a floor there, hardwood floor. And to my right, oh, let's go immediate right. We have a bathroom, a big bathroom actually. So gigantic bathroom here, nice dual sinks. So there's two sinks here for you. And I've got to check out this uh, shower because it seems to go all the way back. All right. Big, big shower area here for you. So this is a really big bathroom. All right, let's see what else we can find. If we go here to immediate right. Hello. We're in a bedroom with two beds set up in it already. And this is overlooking the backyard just so you kind of have some perspective. So the water buffalo's out here somewhere. <laughs> And if we spin around this place, you can see where it's got a lot of natural light coming in. And I'll go to the other corner and show you some other furniture that they have in this room, just to give you an idea. So this room would be perfect for a couple of kids. Now, if we go out of this room and into the next one, we have a gigantic room. I'll bet you this is the master. I'm not 100% sure right this second, but look at this. So let's start from the ceiling. So you've got the high, high vaulted ceilings, beautiful bed, and you have windows on both sides. This is the window facing the backyard. Let me give you a different angle here. And here is the room looking the opposite way. So you've got a big mirror here and you could turn that into a desk or a place to get ready in the morning. And if we spin around the other way, you're overlooking the pool and uh, the lake and all that. And you do have a little porch area here too. So really, really nice room with a lot of natural light. So let's go back and see what else we could find. Okay, so 
The master does have its own bathroom, of course. You would expect it to. And it does. And it has a gorgeous sink here. Uh, your bathroom toilet area is over here to the left. And if I spin around, we have the shower area. So there's a look from the top to the bottom of the shower. Okay, now coming out of what I believe is the master, now we've got a hallway to go down. And the hallway, by the way, this if I look this way, you're looking again over the pool area. So we've got a room right here to my left with a huge table here. Look how long that table goes all the way to the wall. It's got two beds and it does have a ceiling fan and an air conditioner, which is very important, at least for a lot of us Westerners who want our air conditioner. But if you don't, you got the fans, you got the best of both worlds. So here's a look at this bedroom. We're gonna go down even further and see what we have down the hallway. Here to the left, it's another bedroom. And this one has two beds. This one almost looks identical to the last one we just saw. It's got that uh, dresser that goes all the way to the wall. It has the air conditioner ceiling fan, just like the other one did. And it's got two beds. Let me give you a better angle. If I spin over here and look this way, it'll give you a better idea of the layout of this bedroom. All right. Now uh, let's go see what is further down the hallway. All right, this will take us to the other side of the house, but I don't want to go through here. I want to start from the bottom and work our way up. So we'll check out the other house. So if you're wondering where the kitchen is, well, I was incorrect in what I told you. So there is a separate living area all in itself in this side of the house, but the kitchen is actually downstairs here for the whole house and we'll go upstairs and see the the area here that's like having an, a whole other house up at the top and we're going to go in through this bottom portion over here and check it out all right so we are here in the carport area punching bags some rings there kind of cool we'll go through here and we will see what's on this side we've got a gate here that we need to get through and you, we are in the kitchen area. So if I spin around this way, you can see the kitchen here. It's got stainless steel countertops, which is great. I've actually, I've not seen a home in Thailand with stainless steel countertops, so that's really nice. So you've got the sink area over here to the left and you do have a water purifying system, it looks like. You've got a, mic a, a microwave down below and then you've got your range which it is a gas range and you have an oven which is very nice because a lot of homes in thailand don't have ovens so it's a good thing if we spin around over here you will see that it has a full-size refrigerator there's plenty of room in this kitchen also there's an air conditioner and if i spin around here there are the dining tables so you've got a smaller table here and you also have a larger one. So depending on how many people are here for dinner. And on a side note, this is really cool. They got the Siamese fighting fish. Otherwise I'd call them Thai fighting fish. But anyway, we're gonna go over here into this room and check it out. And what this is, is this is an ironing room. If this is, <laughs> if I had an ironing room, it'd be the one room that never got used because I don't iron. There's an air conditioner in here, and you could use this, I'm sure, for whatever you want, but it was designed to be a room for ironing, hence the ironing board right in front of me and the chair. But use it for what you want. We come back out here to the kitchen, and I turn. There is another door open here, which should be the laundry room. So let's check the laundry room out. So if we look over here to the left, there's a bathroom. We'll check that out in a minute. There's another, looks like refrigerator, right down here. And if we look over here to the right, we can find the laundry area. It's got a sink and everything, and a place if you wanted to store some of your stuff over here. 
So there is a ceiling fan over, overhead, just so you know. And if we go into the bathroom, let's check this out. Big, spacious bathroom. All right, this is not set up for a shower. This is just for using the bathroom. And it is big and spacious. If you're wondering what color it is, it's kind of a light purple. Looks really nice. And I think that does it for the bottom part of this side of the house. I'll do a little sweep here just so you can get another idea of what it looks like. And now we'll see what's up top. So coming up the steps, I have not been up here, so you'll find out is <laughs> when I do. All right, so you remember when we were on the other part of the house, there was a door and I said that went to the other side, that's the door. So you've got a sink area here. Let me move this door and see what's behind there. And let's open this. Let's see what we have behind here. Ah, a bathroom. Excellent. So we got a small white bathroom. There's your toilet. It does have a shower. I'll spin around here and show you that. So it does have a shower here too. All right, I'll show you all the way to the bottom. Okay. And let's go check in to this side. All right. Okay, door number one. Let's see what we have here. All right, a very small Thai style bedroom. It has a ceiling fan and it actually has another fan over here. All right, and it has a very looks like traditional Thai wall. And it does have some windows that go outside. Very small bedroom. And it does not have AC, just so you know. Now let's go around to, let's try this one right here. Okay, another small bedroom. It does have a ceiling fan. And it looks like the ceiling fan is all that it has in here. Let me spin around and show you this area. It's all wood. There is one bed in here. So you could use this room for whatever you want as a bedroom or some other type of room for a hobby maybe. And then there's also an opening here. It's very dark at the moment on this one and I do not see the lights, but we'll do the best we can here. It's another wide open room. There is no air conditioner or fan here. It looks like you would use this room for storage. And then if I pan around here, this top area right now, they have a pool table, billiards, right here in the middle. So you could use this as a nice little game room, which would be fun. And if I go around this way, just to show you what it looks like, here is the whole top level. There's one of the rooms we just went in there. And that's where we came in from right there. So I hope this gives you an idea of what is on this side. And there is, last but not least, a porch here. Show you down at the bottom. It's a wood floor here. And it overlooks, if you look this way, it'll overlook the lake. And if you pan around to the back side of the property, you can see you've got a lot of privacy here. Now you do not have neighbors right on top of you. So you will get that feel that you are living out away from most things, but you're really not. You're about a 15 minute drive from most things. So as you can see, this house has a lot of room and a lot of land and your own water buffalo. It's a really unique property, you need to check it out. And if you do wanna check it out, make sure you contact Alice with Indigo Realty. Again, we will have all of her information on a link down below, so check that out. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, Kapkun Kap.